Hello, this is David D. Hilster. I'm a critical thinker, science dissident, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science. Something your university professor won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. Today I couldn't resist. <laughs> I wasn't planning to do it on this, but when I see these headlines, I just want to, uh, I go nuts. But actually, um, it wasn't really the headline in this case. So you see, here's another headline about Einstein gravity and it says Sci scientists weigh a star using gravity proving Einstein wrong by proving him right <laughs> I love this they, they're not gonna make him wrong they can we, we have data every time we are in a particle accelerator and mass doesn't increase we're proving him wrong but we don't prove him wrong because I don't know he gets out of jail free card I don't know but this is certainly I want to always things going on artist depiction that's a lot of things that happen in in uh, particle physics especially in cosmology there's artist depictions of things we don't really have any proof for or no no of this is a white dwarf uh, yeah this is not so bad because at least you know we know white dwarf dwarf is white and somebody had to sort of put it together and of course you see the corona around the this white dwarf it is in space-time it's mass there's mass there there's stuff there okay that's very important and of course this is the phrase that got me going on this article Albert Einstein's theory of gravity called general Rel relativity is probably the best physics theory ever formulated Wow they just say this stuff they just say it I mean even if you're a journalist, if you're a good journalist, you, you can't say those things. It doesn't say, it, well, probably? What's that mean, probably? I mean, it just elevates it. People are afraid. They're, they're afraid to say Einstein's wrong. And then when even they say he's wrong, he's still right. Look at it again. Proving him right. Scientists weigh a star using gravity, proving Einstein wrong by proving him right. But look at the the way they just put down how amazing general relativity is. And, and of course, keep reading. It just keeps working, often for things Einstein himself didn't believe. So, <laughs> he probably wouldn't. I bet if Einstein were alive, he wouldn't believe a lot of this be because we have so much proof that things aren't working well with special relativity and even general relativity. Like the expansion, the like the accelerating expansion of the universe. Now, of course, these are assumptions on assumptions on assumptions. The expansion comes from the idea that, oh, we have uh, light, everything's a redshift, and so everything must be moving away. We, it may be the way light works. Of course, we have no model of light. It's a photon. It's a wave. It's a photon wave. It's a, what is it? Although outside of mainstream, we do have some answers. My father and I actually have a model that will actually describe that. So it's not the only answer out there. So here we go, like accelerating expansion of the universe. Not only expanding, but accelerating expanding. Scientists only just proved some crazy, it's crazy predictions like gravitational waves. Look at the wording, crazy predictions. That is, oh, Einstein's got such crazy wild hair ideas. See him here, here, there you go. There he is. He's such a crazy dude. And man, he thought out the box. Everybody should be like him. Uh, problem is we're worshiping him. But anyways, he's crazy predictions like gravitational waves and they found them pretty amazing since we have no model of gravity we have this idea of space-time which we have no idea what it is some people are working on exotic strings like Brian Green or whatever his name is from Columbia they are working on exotic string things not just strings exotic so these crazy predictions like were proved okay proved proved these none of these are proved Look at the way they write this. So if you're somebody reading this, you're just assuming this is all written in stone. And that's one of the problems. Um, it goes on to talk about it's how it's used. But let me make some points again. Edward Dowdy talks about it. 
This is one of the graphics from this article. I just separated it out here. It says, Hubble measures deflection of starlight by foreground object. Certainly does. Do you notice how this is going through this haze around it? That haze is just like water or something else. It's mass. There are atoms there. When you have atoms in the middle of something, light can bend. There's no doubt about it. But it's not this rubber sheet. There's no rubber sheet out there. They don't talk about what, what is space-time? What is the fabric of space-time? What is the fabric of space? The fabric of time? They talk about this, but they have no physicality for it. It's blah, 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 blah words. So again, what we have is a lot of talk, a lot of smoke, and there's no fire. There is no model. The standard model is not a model. It is a theory. It is a made-up invented theory where we invent one thing on top of another, arbitrary packages of things that we call particles, and we give them arbitrary attributes, and then we build and we build and we build upon them. We talk about space-time. Space is empty. Time is a is not a thing either, and yet we put them together and make a thing. We call it fabric. We don't know if it's fabric. We call it light. Oh, light's bending. Oh, light's a photon. Well, light's a wave, and it's got. Oh, and then we have quantum mechanics, where particles are know where they are. That, no, we have answers. Actually, we have outside of mainstream have answers to these questions. Again, my father and I, for instance, are. We have our model of the universe and everything's physical, including light, gravity, and every electromagnetic waves, magnet, magnetism, magnetic fields, all of it, electricity, all of it has physicality, yet here we have none. But again, it's just the use of words, uh, proved, proved is there, um, best th physics theory ever formulated. Come on, guys. You know, nobody's really buying this. Just the people inside their little, the, the journalists who want to write something so they specialize in uh, science. The people who are the scientists who want to, uh, you know, be famous. They write about Einstein because it gets them, uh, it, it gets them in the, the press. But folks, again, Einstein's wrong. Uh, we we have other explanations for everything that they're talking about. It's not like we just say it's wrong and then go away. So that's enough for today. Uh, always remember, don't take what anyone says on faith. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I'm Dave D. Hilster, your science therapist. Ciao for now.